What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We spent the last week or two in the Salt Lake City area and while it's been nice to have a little bit of a routine and be close to grocery stores and water fill ups and diesel and all that, we are getting the itch to get out of the city and we're gonna be going to a very popular area in the van life just community and the RV community. At least we seem to think so. And on the way there, we're gonna be making a very cool stop, at least we think so, that we saw on Google on things that you have to do when you're in the Salt Lake City area and we're excited to show you if it all plays out how it's supposed to. It's a beautiful day. It's very sunny out, which is super nice because if you've been following along with us, we've been in the winter and in snow and a lot of cloudy days, which are nice in their own ways, but it's also really nice to have some sun. So it's a beautiful day for a nice drive to where we're going. There's one stop along the way that we're really hoping to make. We're not sure if we're gonna be able to make it there because there are no recent reviews and just given the current circumstance of it being winter, there might be snow, but around us there really isn't much so we have pretty high hopes that we're going to be able to make it to this stop and we really don't want to miss it. road is just gotten a little bumpy as you can hear and we have another like seven miles on this road so we're really hoping to see what we came here to see. We're at Stansbury Island. This is where we wanted to take you on things to do in the Salt Lake City area. Whoa, I almost died. <laughs> and dying's not one of them. But seeing the pink water in the Salt Lake at Stansbury Island is one of those things. And supposedly it's visible year round. And we drove, the road was terrible. I think it was like 14 miles in. And uh, I think that's the first bit of snow I've seen the entire time. But we're actually on the Stansbury Island interpretive trail. And hopefully we see something over here. I didn't see any pink water yet, which would be a downfall but this is what it's supposed to look like. And that's what we're hoping we're gonna see. So the way that we went did not take us to any kind of water. It took us to just like a trail and some information, but not information about the water, information about like everything else, which we're really here to see the pink water. So we decided we're just gonna walk out to the lake and hopefully it will turn pink as we walk to it. I don't really know, but it's not looking like we're gonna see pink water today. Where is you can expect the lake to be pink year round. However, some days appear pinker than others based on salt levels. I suppose we got unlucky with the day that we chose. Look at this block of salt. It is huge. It literally looks like a rock, but it's pure salt. Smell it. Does it smell salty? No, it smells actually really fresh that's so weird tastes salty oh <laughs> yeah on the way here we actually passed the morton salt factory and we're big in the sea salt and so i was like how is that bad for you if they're getting salt from like here but it's because they add a bunch of junk to it so pretty cool though because i just saw the blue label with the yellow person on it really cool we were standing over there and then we walked around to get up here and we were hoping that looking back this way Maybe it'd look a little bit pinker, but we're still not really seeing it. After waiting until sunset, we finally found the pink water. So if we see, like right there, there's pink water. And so we've actually seen the pink water. We've seen it on YouTube, we've seen it on Google, we've seen it on Instagram, so we know it exists, but maybe it's just not at this spot. There's one more spot where you can find it, but unfortunately that's not where we're taking this video. But maybe we'll take you there eventually. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications because you don't wanna miss it if we do go. I like the 
call these roads either 4 or 40. Because if you're going 4, you're miserable. And if you're going 40, you're still miserable. So this would actually probably be a lot better if we aired down. But I wasn't expecting this, so I didn't air down. We made it to the spot and it's actually BLM land. It feels so good to be on Bureau of Land Management land. It's been so long going up the East Coast and then traveling across the country, it feels good. There's just something about it being out here, seeing the stars, kind of being alone, it's pretty cool. We're gonna make a little dinner and then we'll see you guys in the morning. We made it to the area that we were talking about that is very popular with van lifers, which is kind of funny because there's no one here right now, but we're actually staying at a spot close to the Bonneville Salt Flats, and it's very Instagram worthy. It's a very beautiful spot, and we're gonna go check it out in just a little bit. But right now we're letting the dogs walk around and run around and have fun playing with the ball because we've been doing so much time in the city and just with the winter camping not being able to get anywhere, it's been pretty hard to let them out and enjoy themselves. So they're running around a little bit. We're gonna get a little bit of stretching in because we've been sitting around working a lot today. And then we're gonna make our way over to the Bonneville Salt Flats. Bring it, bring it back. the salt flats but as you can see it says closed to motor vehicles due to wet conditions and by wet conditions it's literally flooded like you can't even see the flats don't look like all the photos that we've seen because it is really wet right now I'm guessing with all the snow melting it has just put a layer of water over everything it's still very beautiful but as you can tell there's some areas that are a little bit dry and then some areas that are completely submerged in water salt flats now and we're gonna stay at the same spot we stayed at last night and we're gonna end the video here so we just wanted to say thank you so much for watching we hope that you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy it please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell to be notified when we post next we'll see you in the next video bye